Hello and welcome to this tutorial on 10 useful shortcuts that I think are going to really help you and your workflow. So shortcuts in Blender are really important because they allow us to efficiently and more quickly complete tasks. The first shortcut that I'm going to be showing you is more applicable to those with a multiple screen setup and that is Control alt w What that does is it creates a new window of the same Blender file uh, and as you can see if our changes are reflected in both windows. The next one is an edit mode shortcut. If I select two vertices and then press J it's going to connect a path between those two vertices. This is really useful for retopology. As you can see, unlike the F function, it is able to interpret where it intersects another edge and then creates the correct topology for it. So as you can see, it creates a vertex in the center where it bisects that. The next shortcut I would like to show you is a deletion sort of shortcut. So we all know X, X for delete, and then we get all these different options. Now, one of those options is a dissolve option or a dissolve sort of edges, faces, and a little bit of dissolve. Uh, did you know that we can actually apply this function without going through this submenu? All that we have to do is press Control and X. And as you can see, we've dissolved our vertice, our vertex, excuse me. A really useful shortcut is the F6 redo last shortcut. Now, for those of you who aren't aware what that means, what that is, when we edit an object, we usually get a submenu down here in the corner. And this submenu is usually really useful. It's got a lot of fine tuning tools, but oftentimes we click away and that submenu disappears, but we may want to go back to that submenu. We, we may want to redo the edit. Now, a lot of times people will just go, oh, I've lost the sub menu, so I'm just gonna have to go back. But what they don't realize if you've, is if you press F6 uh, after you've done the redo, it gives you that menu back. So you can then edit. Uh, you have to make, be, be careful not to um, cycle through a undo and redo list. Otherwise, I don't think it will work, just as I gave an example there. But that's a really good way for bringing that uh, more fine tuning menu back so that you're able to uh, continue editing the tool. Another shortcut that I feel is perhaps not that well known is Control W, which is bend. Uh, the bend takes place from the origin sorry, not the origin, the 3D cursor. So depending on where the 3D cursor is, uh, determines where the bend takes place. Uh, it's a really useful tool for creating arches. Our next shortcut is Alt-E. This is a similar to extrude, except it has more menus. So it's like the X for delete. So Alt-E gives you more options to extrude with. So if I select everything, press Alt-E and then extrude individual faces and then extrude that. Uh, these faces are not going to be connected to one another as we've extruded individually. So it's just a good tool to, uh, to have in your geometry creation arsenal. Our next one is, you know, I feel pretty well known by this point, but I'm going to reiterate it for those of you who aren't aware of it and that is shift control alt c and that one sets the origin of the object so instead of having to come up here to object then set origin then set the origin to something uh, you can just press control shift alt and c it's a lot more simple less navigating menus another really useful one is the shift v which is sliding a vertex along, well, a path that it's connected to or an edge it's connected to. Uh, this is really useful for minute changes. You can also access this uh, either using Shift V or double tapping G while in edit mode. So G, which is grab for move, and then G again, 
and you've entered vertex slide mode. So maybe a lot of you have entered this mode and not really known what it is doing. So all that it's doing is uh, sliding the vertex along an edge that it is connected to. Our last two shortcuts are somewhat connected to one another and they have to do with the knife tool. So for those of you who don't know, the knife tool is just K and then you can bisect your geometry and create new geometry. Uh, but that's not the shortcut we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at Shift-K, which constrains your knife tool to certain geometry that you have selected. So as you can see, while I can create the geometry, it's not going to create a cut where I haven't selected. So this is really useful if you want to work on a particular part of your model that you're not happy with but you don't want to affect another part. And the second shortcut that is related to this is double clicking while in knife mode. So what double clicking does is that it closes the cut. So if I double click, as you can see, we've closed the cut. So this is more snappy and more efficient than just dragging it and then doing it like this and then pressing enter and then you'd have to go into the cut again and you know it takes a while so this is just a really good way of speeding up your workflow so we can create multiple cuts and get to work on a new cut and keep creating cuts and then you can press enter when you're happy with that and voila you have three separate cuts and you didn't have to exit uh, the knife mode at all. So there are 10 useful shortcuts that I feel will uh, help you and your workflows. Please let me know below which ones you knew or which ones you didn't know and if any of these will be helpful in your workflow. I hope they are. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This is Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com signing off. For those of you who would like to explore the shortcuts in more detail, you can find them while well, you can find them in the preferences by pressing edit preferences, then navigating down to key maps. Here you're able to change both the shortcuts themselves as well as view a list of them so that you're able to actually explore a multitude of them. So you're able to explore the different functions of Blender.